Hey YouTube, it's me, 23FunkyMan here, and today I'm bringing you guys my first GFX tutorial, and today's episode we're going to be, or I'm going to be showing you guys how to make a brush that can make a starburst effect. Um, if you guys notice in most of my thumbnails, I usually use a starburst, like, pattern, and um, I recently found out how to make a starburst brush, so I don't need to look on Google Images every time I want a different style. And um, yeah, so today I'll go. I'm going to be showing you guys how to make something that looks like this. So first of all, we're going to make a new document. Um, I recommend this width and height, so 1600 by 1800, and the resolution and pretty much everything else doesn't really matter. But make sure the background contents are white. Um, but yeah, basically just make sure the width and height are at least 1600 by 1800, and uh, yeah, it just depends on how big you want the brush. But this is probably a pretty good size. So we're going to create the document and now what we're going to do is we're going to choose our colors over here in the bottom left corner and we're going to choose two colors that are similar in 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 tone so or in color so i'm going to pick a dark gray and a lighter gray um you you can just use any colors that are completely different too but i would advise just using like that and um, now we're going to go to the paint bucket tool and use the gradient tool. If you want to know how to get that, you just go and select that. Oh yeah, sorry, we need to set the colors over here, so I'll just do that. And yeah, make sure your colors are up there, not down there. I don't know why I was doing that. And uh, now on your, um, on your document, you're going to go to the top. And you're going to make a straight line down. It doesn't matter if you're in the middle or whatever. Um, and the way you make a straight line down is um, while you're when you click, you hold shift and it'll make a straight line so you don't have any weird angles. And it should generate a nice gradient for you. So now what you need to do is you need to, well, because this is pretty plain and this doesn't exactly look like a starburst effect yet, you need to go to filter at the top and you need to go to distort and wave. And I have the settings already made out, so pretty much you can just copy my settings. The number of generators is 999, wavelength minimum 71, max 72, amplitude 34, 35, scale is 100 and 100. For the type, it's sign, and for the undefined areas, repeat edge pixels. Um, so yeah, you should just see a bunch of straight lines pretty much. And this is... We're pretty much done already now. This doesn't look, again, it doesn't quite look like a Starburst either. So now what you have to do is go to Filter again, go back to Distort, but this time we're going to make a Polar Coordinates. Now for this one, pretty much, I'm pretty sure this is like the default settings, but if it's on one of these ones, you just pick Rectangular to Polar, and that's pretty much what you'll see. So now you have the starburst effect, but now how do you make it into a brush? Now what you'll want to do is you'll want to go over to here, and uh, my quick selection tool doesn't work, so I just use the magic wand tool, but you can use this and then just select every area, but magic wand tool seems to work better for me. So I'm going to click on one area, I usually just use the darker area, and if you just do this, then it won't, it'll unselect, so you have to click it, and then you have to hold shift and you just keep doing that on all the dark areas and it should select it all so now you see i have a selection around oh that's not supposed to be there uh, there should be yeah a selection around all of them i think yeah okay there we go um so yeah you should have the selection around everything and now what you want to do is you just want to right click the screen and it'll have all these options you just want to click layer via cut now if you see it made another layer enough you just uh, uncheck this original layer you'll just have those darker areas now what you can do is uh, turn this into a brush by selecting this this layer and click edit and define brush preset now you can pretty much just name whatever you want so I'll just name it tutorial and then you click OK. And now to make sure it works, you just make a new document. And you press B for brush. 
and then you scroll down all the way to the bottom and as you can see there's your new brush and there it is and the way you can increase the size is pressing the uh, the brackets right beside the P um, so yeah you pretty much just uh, just change it and you can I, I personally starting to now put it in different areas so but yeah you can pretty much just put it in the really very middle and that's what I showed you guys at the beginning and if you want to change the colors then what you can do is go back to the gradient tool and make it a paint bucket tool then select the colors down here I don't know I'll just make it a red and you just click in all the areas you want to be red and then maybe I'll change it to I don't know there you go and then you just click in all those areas and there you go there's your starburst um, this is a lot easier I think than finding ones on Google I mean you could just find one on Google images um, but this way you can um, pretty much just change it the way you like it and I think this is a lot better um, I'll probably make a tutorial later on how to add a like a grunge effect and make it more like a thumbnail um, but I hope you guys enjoyed this video I'll see you guys next time subscribe if you haven't already like the video and yeah subscribe if you haven't already I already said that but peace out